Hi hey everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about all NBA games on the Wii. NBA Live Await fails to deliver a good enough experience. The biggest downside were the controls. They felt unresponsive. But it's interesting that even with the dodgy controls, the game still is easy. It felt like it was almost playing itself. In controls you have two types of layouts. You have the casual friendly one, in which playing is reduced to just pressing a few buttons, and there is the advanced button layout or the normal way you will play a sports title. And no matter which you choose, the controls aren't responsive, but the game still is somehow easy to beat for some reason. As for game modes, they are simple but fun. You get a season mode, the usual exhibition match mode, and some mini games, And multiplayer, both local and online. It's a little bare bone compared to other sports title, but it works out for those who seek a super casual experience. It's fun if you don't intend to play it much, and if you find it cheap. Because the game isn't much, it doesn't offer much in game modes, AI, graphics or controls, but it still is fun to play if your gaming session is only 10 minutes long. NBA Live 9 All Play added more content, but it's no use if the faulty gameplay from last year persists. Controls still feel unresponsive and imprecise. And they are crucial if you want to have a good basketball game. At least there are new game modes, like challenges, 5-on-5s, 2-on-2s, you can play with an all-star team or play with the 22 or play with the 22 female players, but the game fails to deliver the fun on the long run. If you intend to play the game only for exhibition matches with friends, then it might work, though might work isn't what you want when you pay for a game. And from this point on, they never continued NBA Live on the Wii. But worry not, the game just changed its identity. What do we have here? NBA 2K10, or shall I say, NBA Wii version. Yup, NBA 2K10 is actually the sequel to NBA Live. It's the same horrendous game, with bad controls, they added more content like NBA Now and the My Player mode, but since the controls are so bad, and the graphics so ugly, and the game has bugs and slowdowns, just adding more content doesn't make the game necessarily more enjoyable. Sure, it's better than NBA Live 08, but compared to other NBA Live versions, it sucks. At least, this time in game modes, the game doesn't compromise. You get what you get in other versions. In game modes. Not in gameplay. This time the game doesn't feel like a compromise anymore. It finally takes shape as a full NBA game. As game modes you get quick play, season, playoff and the association, where you take control of a franchise through several seasons, taking care of the organizational and tactical aspect, as well as winning the games once on the curve. There is also a practice mode too, which is really useful for getting the controls. Also in 2K11 on Wii, you get the blacktop mode, where you leave the arenas and play dunk competitions, 3 point shootouts, 1 vs 1, 2 vs 2s and up to 5 vs 5s. Also returning in the game is the My Player mode, making it the most complete NBA game. It's really solid and it's the most fun you can get on the Wii. But at least NBA Jam doesn't suck. On the contrary, it's a really good game. It's 2 on 2 extreme basketball and the controls are finally good, just like the gameplay. The visuals don't try to imitate reality and fail, but this time they have a unique art style that has its own charm. And the game offers 6 game modes, Smash, Elimination, Domination, 21, Remix, 2 vs 2 and Boss Battle. In Smash the goal is to whittle away the health bar of your opponent's blackboard, with each successful basket to shatter it. Elimination is a free for all between 3 or 4 players on a half court, with the lowest scoring player eliminated after each round until only one player remains. Domination has teams trying to score from marked spots. In 21, the first player to reach the set score wins. Remix 2 vs 2 is like a standard game but with periodical power-ups. And boss battle pits you against basketball superstars. You get a remix and classic campaign with 58 challenges and there is a huge amount of players and skins for the bolt one lock. The fast-paced gameplay is doubled by a great commentator and a really good soundtrack. This game is a must-have. 
and B2K11 brought new visual enhancements. Now matches look like a broadcast and players have more animations, but in gameplay we don't see any differences. The controls are still horrendous. It's ok that the game has the same game modes like in 2K10, and the visual improvements are nice, but having the same bad controls keeps the game from being great. The controls are really bad in my opinion. NBA 2K12 is 2K11 reskinned. You get some updated rosters, but the difference is mostly aesthetic. The only difference in game modes between 2K11 and 2K12 is that 2K12 doesn't have online, whereas 2K11 has. So the novelty is actually that they removed something. And NBA 2K13, you guessed it, is NBA 2K12 reskinned, which was already NBA 2K11 reskinned. It's the usual in sports video games. Overall, NBA on Wii is disappointing. It never reached its full potential. For the most part, NBA on Wii is a mess with poor controls, glitches, bugs and ugly visuals. You can get around the controls with a classic controller, but even then the experience isn't the best. The only one that is truly fun is NBA Jam. The rest, from NBA 2K10, they are good, solid and offer a lot, but still have plenty of shortcomings. Especially the frustrating, unresponsive and clunky controls. I would suggest buying NBA on Wii only if you eagerly want it, but even then, I wouldn't really advise it. NBA Jam on the other hand is amazing. That one is the only NBA game on Wii I recommend. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You would help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and tell reveal thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.